Hello, all my great, grand, glorious Leo friends, wherever you are on this planet. Uh, you make life an adventure. You make it fun. And the party does not start until you arrive. This is Maxine Taylor, America's first licensed astrologer. And I've got your beautiful forecast for the month of May right here in front of me. But first I have uh, something I wanna share with you. Um, my latest book, it's called Hidden Messages in Your Birth Chart. It is an updated version of a book I wrote several years back, which was published by the American Federation of Astrologers. It was called Hidden Messages. I've updated it. I've changed some of the information as I've gotten more uh, knowledgeable about programming. Uh, I'm not talking about computer programming. I'm talking about the hidden messages that mommy and daddy and all the well-meaning uh, people in our lives give us when we're children, both verbally and non-verbally. The conscious and subconscious messages we receive. They run our lives and they are visible in the birth chart. If you see what they are, that's the first step toward changing them, letting them go and living the life you want to live, live on your highest and best level. So it is now available on Amazon and on my website, MaxineTaylor.com. Uh, many of you are writers. Um, this book is for astrology students and astrologers. You may be writing a, an astrology book uh, for the public, or you may not be writing an astrology book at all. It might be on gardening, on anything. And let's say you, you're, you're in the middle of writing it, and you're thinking, now, how am I going to get this on Amazon? How am I going to get this on my website? What do I do? And you've asked me what to do, what I do. And I'm going to tell you who I use for all of my book needs, from formatting to editing to uh, putting it on Amazon. Um, I have somebody you're going to want to talk to. Her name is Denise. Casino, C-A-S-S-I-N-O. And her website is bestsellerservices.com. She can help you get your book to number one on Amazon, to bestseller status. I highly recommend her. I, she is the only person I've used for 10 years she not only delivers, she over delivers and she makes everything easy. She takes the complication out of it. So if you have a book and you want to get it out there, don't be spending a whole lot of money to do it. Just go to bestsellerservices.com and Denise will help you. She'll take it from there. Okay, now let's talk about you and your gorgeous forecast, shall we? Ah, look at this beautiful area. The sun, the giver of life, the center of our life is in your 10th house of career and public image. And you have been the leader for at least up the past month. And you, you shine. No matter what career you are involved in, you are the star. No matter what project you are involved in, you are the leader. And it stays that way until the 20th when the sun enters your 11th house of friends and group activities and you turn into a humanitarian. The center of your life then becomes your friends and being a friend and creating new friends. Oh, it's just gorgeous. And since the sun is the center of our world, of our universe, you may be, if you're involved in a group, 
you may be elected president of that group or chairman of that group. And your friends are the center of your life. And being a good friend, that's what the sun's gift is. Now, Venus, the planet of love and beauty and money, is in your 10th house of your career. And this makes you very popular. And you love being in a position of leadership. Now, on the 8th, it enters your 11th house of friends, hopes, wishes, groups. And you love being with your friends and they love you. And so it's kind of a mutual admiration society. It's fantastic. So get ready because Venus will precede the sun and you'll love being with your friends. Mercury, the blue planet, that's our conscious mind. It's what we think about and talk about. In your 10th house, you are speaking as a leader. You're thinking of leadership. Now, on the third of the month, Mercury beats out Venus and the sun and enters your 11th house. The, um, wherever Mercury is, that's what you think about and talk about. And so you're thinking about your friends and you're talking to your friends. And you're thinking about being a friend. How gorgeous. I love it. Okay. And that is where everything remains. Now, for the, till we get into June, of course. Mercury it enters the shadow of the retrograde on May 15th. And it goes retrograde on the 29th. So when it comes to your friends, you're going to start feeling the retrograde Mercury even before it goes retro. By the 29th, there may be things involved with groups and friends that need to be redone. Don't start new projects, tie up the loose ends of unfinished business when it comes to your friends. Mars, the red planet, is in your 12th house of the subconscious and the 12th house of behind the scenes activities. So you may be taking your impatience, your anger and putting it on the back burner, but it's still there. And there can be things you are upset about that you may not even be able to identify, but you just know that you're, you're, you're ready to get to it now. And it's, go, it's gonna be on pause while it's in the 12th house. So get plenty to do behind the scenes and keep busy. Now, the new moon is in your 10th house. The new moon is on May 11th. And this is beautiful because it's in your house of career in 21 degrees of Taurus. Find 21 Taurus in your birth chart. Combine it with your solar chart and you'll have the whole picture. And that's when energy starts moving. And two weeks later, we've got a full moon that just happens to be a total lunar eclipse. And that's when things come to a head in the fifth house of children and fun and games and socializing. It's in, uh, it will happen on May 26th and it will be in five degrees of Sagittarius. Remember, we feel the effects of an eclipse about a week before it occurs and until the next pair come along, which are usually about five or six months later. We'll have another eclipse in June, by the way. So let's talk in June. Um, and so this is a very powerful full moon. It can bring about lots of changes with your kids and even your social life. And I want to say have fun because you are one of the signs that loves to play. And the full moon, the lunar eclipse says, let's play. So that's your forecast for May. Join me in June when once again, I look at your fabulous forecast. Until then, may the stars shine brightly on you and yours. Bye for now.